whoa, three voiceovers in one day. What are we going to do with ourselves? You don't know what I'm talking about. You will if you make it to the end of this one. I reserve the right to make a mess when I'm working, but yeah, I will clean up in between. But I just have to shove off. Look at this carnage. Some things went sideways on this guy. They went, oh, they went really hard. But um, we're, we're nearing the end. Don't mind the mess. It's, this thing's under construction. I don't have time to be neat and orderly at this moment. All the neat and orderly stuff is inside the chassis. All right, kind of cleaning some things up. Look, all the chassis solder joints from this cap can are completely broken. Look at that. So I have a way, uh, I have a way to remedy that for good. And I'll uh, update you guys shortly. Okay. Little update as I close my day out in the shop. So take a look here. All that, uh, all the orange funk you see there, that's, it's literally wax. And I'm gonna scrape off uh, a little more, clean the board. Um, as you can see, I, uh, I, I cleaned up and reinstalled uh, the guy's uh, previous work for the caps that were still good. And that means these atoms here, these sprig atoms, or sprig caps here. Here's a new cap here that I installed. No sense having it span all the way across and be unstable when it's perfectly fine to connect here since it's going to ground anyway. Another cleaned up cap. You have your, uh, your bias supply here. With some nice fish caps. And some rewiring. Um, I added, I added a, a new jack here that's gonna switch uh, switch to ground in the event that you lose your speaker, rather uh, that you, you lose your speaker cable from the jack here, give you some protection. Here's your new cap can, came out really nice. And then this is how I ground it. Even though it's being ground through the chassis on the mounting screws there, I add a thick, uh, what is that, 16 gauge bus wire from the ground tab to a nice chassis solder joint. And we just cleaned everything up. Um, you're now uh, grounded properly to the chassis, the, those cathodes via that uh, bit of shield, shielded braid all the way down. Uh, your power tubes are dead. So uh, luckily I do have a set here that are very nice sounding. I mean, true six V6s, not uh, the JJs that are just uh, re-encapsulated six L6s. So you're gonna get the sound. So I'm gonna do a quick voltage check and then we'll be on our way for the day. Well, it looks like I have to put the dad hat back on and why do we wear sunglasses when I'm addressing you guys? It's because when it's in landscape mode, I don't quite know where they'll look. So sometimes my eyes going that way or the other way or they're crossing or drifting apart. I just don't, I don't have any sort of alignment. So I'm wearing these guys and then you're just gonna have to um, trust that I'm looking at you. Now, um, the service on that Champ 2 is almost concluded, but kind of ending on a sour note so far. And I really hate to step away from the bench with things like this. So finally, uh, all the voltage levels are present and where they need to be. Just perfect. Perfect. Uh, however, uh, I'm losing signal through the input as it's working its way to the output. It's being attenuated somewhere. And my God, man, just the way the past two weeks have been, can I make an assumption that it's gonna be the output transformer, seriously? You know, I never see output transformer or speaker issues except for the past two weeks. What is going on? So hopefully it's not that. If it is, guess what I have? I have a 60 Schumacher that's meant for a push-pull pair of 6V6s, and it'll be good for that amp. And it'll actually bring it closer to Deluxe, the old Tweed Deluxe uh, specs, that nice, juicy little saturated paper interleave transformer sound. Um, I, I hope it's not that. Uh, I got that waiting in the wings if it is, but I really hope it's not, you know? What a disappointment if that's the case. But otherwise, man, the thing cleaned up really great. 
Uh, the prior tech just didn't give a damn. I'm, I'm just going to flat out say it. And if I know the guy, I know him. If I don't, I don't. He just didn't give a shit. I get that it's, it's considered a, a lower end model, but it's really not. Especially if it's uh, from that particular era where there's all these options that have been designed into the thing. You just treat it with some respect. So uh, I've cleaned up uh, the heaters. I've, um, as you saw in the video, I re, uh, re I, I removed and reinstalled all the stuff that uh, the guy put in there. Removed all the J hooks, uh, just fresh caps throughout. Um, fresh uh, decoupling resistors on the power supply. Everything's looking good except the damn signal's being attenuated. Where's it going? Uh, I, the first thing I'm gonna do when I get back is I'm gonna test the output transformer. Is that part of my flow now? Do I need to do that in the very beginning all over again? Do I need to start doing that again? Maybe. Um, otherwise, we'll get that tested. Um, then I'm gonna have to, you know, signal trace and that's fine. So everything's perfect though. Cathodes about a volt and a half on them. Just everything's great. So, all right, you guys, it's Friday, right? And I, I need to pick these little dudes up in a few minutes. So let me get mentally prepared for the last leg of the day. And I hope y'all are well out there. Bye. Eric, sorry for the news, buddy, but it, we're going to get through this together. Bye.